All right, guys, welcome back to Dropped Frames, going to the second portion of the show here, where we're going to be talking about sponsored streams. Uh, we wanted to have on, like a, like a, I guess, like a Swifter does uh, a lot of sponsored streams, or a Man vs. Game does a lot of sponsored streams, uh, but, you know, Pack South is fucking Pack South, so everyone's incredibly busy right now. Uh, yeah. And we wanted to go ahead and talk with it, because I think it does have a, a relationship with everyone uh, calling us, like, calling streamers sellouts, blah, 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 for H1Z1. Uh, so... Just to start off with, the idea of a sponsored stream is pretty basic. Uh, the, and, and how it works is um, uh, a streamer will get an email from uh, either a third-party organization, someone like, I think, probably some of the bigger, uh, more well-known ones are someone like Plaid, uh, who, of course, had some, uh, some drama with them uh, as of late. Probably, this was actually maybe six months ago, so maybe it's forgotten about. What was the game? Oh, it's for Shadow of Mortar, so it's even longer than six months ago. Um, uh, or... Uh, a lot of times, Twitch will be the middleman for some of these deals, and I think uh, the majority of streamers are actually using Twitch as the middleman just because uh, they will actually make sure that the contract is something that is in the streamer's favor. They'll get out all the bullshit and uh, won't have the streamer uh, be responsible for doing that. Um, then it, from there, it goes, you read the contract, you sign the contract. Most streamers, uh, make sure you read the contract. If you're not, a lot of people will just sign at the first chance of seeing money. Don't do that because you'll get some really fucking weird things that happen to you. Make sure you're reading the contract. Uh, the people, every time I get a contract sent to me, I always see it, send a red line. And every single time I do that, the response I get is, wow, we've never had someone do that before. Thank you for making our contract better. They want you to do this stuff because they want to get more streamers involved with doing things like uh, what they're sending you. So make sure you do that. Um, we get the contract, we sign, uh, usually in the contract it tells you what days, uh, you usually work out a time that you're going to be streaming as well. Some people are super strict with where you're going to be streaming and when, some people are not super strict and it's really up to uh, the streamer whenever they want to be able to do something like that. Uh, and then you stream it, uh, you send it an invoice, and then you get the money usually about uh, two months later. It's pretty simple. That is, uh, the, that is pretty much, I would say, 99% of all of the... Uh, the, the sponsored streams. Sometimes you'll get something, and I think uh, out of the three of us, Co, you're the one that probably has the most experience of this uh, since you're sponsored by Intel on your stream. Uh, those contracts are obviously a little bit different. Um, I, I'll throw questions at you. You can feel free to fill them. I don't know how open you want to talk about this stuff. Um, are you required to have like a certain amount of streamed content each week to fulfill that contract or? The really excellent thing about being sponsored, especially by Intel, is that I had the opportunity to kind of build my contract with them. The stipulations, the ramifications, the benefits, the you know, all that good stuff was stuff all that all that good stuff was things that I was able to sit down with them and kind of create with them because this was a first time venture for them. So for me, um, I have extremely little restrictions. I, I don't have to stream anything. They, weren't, they aren't going to tell me to stream anything. I don't need to change any of my show. We made sure that every single requirement was based on, on basically, you know, just either having buttons in the profile, something on the screen, you know, stuff like that. Um, frankly, I wouldn't have taken it if it were mm -hmm. otherwise. Okay. Um, and then, again, feel free to fill this shit, answer what you don't want to. Uh, in terms of payment, is this a monthly salary? Is this a... You have to invoice them once a month. What? How is how is that arrangement set up? Just so people can understand it. It is it is a serious sponsorship. Um, I I was offered a, a very lucrative amount per month um, compared to my old forty hour IT job. Scarily lucrative, um, and a, as well as benefits, including a big announcement I'm going to have on the channel at the beginning of February. Stay tuned, and uh, you know also some excellent stuff for giveaways. First crack at some really cool tech. Um, it, it, it's it's it, they they very much are pioneering really work, working well with streamers. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, I'm trying to think of some other. I think Nvidia has been doing a lot of sponsored streams as of late. Uh, Corsair has gotten into a lot of that stuff. Uh, you'll see G2A popped up uh, pretty much on. I would honestly say like 95% of streams. Um, You'll see like a G2A logo somewhere on there. Uh, who else has jumped into the sponsored? Am I forgetting any big companies? I buy power. I buy power. power. They're all over it. Yeah, I buy power. I actually, I just got sponsored by a pet pack service. 
one of those things where you sign up per month. Loot Crate is another big one. Loot Crate, yeah, this yeah. pet pack service, they actually, you actually sign up to get a, a cat or dog pack. They send you treats, toys, you know, all sorts of things every month. I got two dogs and three cats, so, I mean, that was just perfect for me. But, you know, it was, it's the kind of thing where, um, you know, pretty much anyone, it's really interesting. Uh, there's, there's actually a clothing company that is starting working with Twitch streamers. I've been talking to about that. Um, they're, they're really getting to the point where Hyper anyone, X, right. Sorry, HyperX, no. another big one. Razor. Yeah, gonna... It's getting to the point where if you can sell something like, you know, if, if they see a streamer using something, it's like, oh, let's talk to that guy. Right. And a lot of the times too, uh, you mentioned how you're working with Intel on your contract. These companies really don't know what they're doing because they, no one's like done it before. Right. So probably uh granted i haven't seen the contracts um but i would assume the majority of all these contracts are vastly different because there's so many different things that you can do on a stream whether it is just i think co you have like the intel logo on your stream that's one of the parameters of the the sponsorship is it not you got it and it's probably something in the info section as well that you can sell uh th those yep. are two big spots um that a streamer can of course sell once you of course get to a certain size um Trying to think of what are some of the other things that you'll see on streams. Sometimes you'll see like a, a sponsored spot. Um, for example, yesterday, Total Biscuit, and this has been done on a lot of audio podcasts, but they are doing something with uh, Squarespace, who is one of the, the big um, advertise or the people buying advertisements on a lot of these podcasts, where uh, they're actually allowing the content producer, whether it's the podcasters or uh, in his case, the YouTubers or the streamers, uh, to make up their own ad. And it's, I think it's a certain amount of time and they can just say whatever they want to about the product. It can be a funny bit, which I think they're doing. Uh, it can be just a super plain and dry bit to, uh, to advertise Squarespace, which is a site where you can make your own website pretty easily. Um, so it's very, very unstructured for the most part. And I think contracts are very uh, unique as you go from contract to contract. One of the questions I think I see a lot of people asking the most is, are you, when you do a sponsored stream for a game in particular, are you uh, obligated to speak uh, favorably about the game? Yes and no. Um, most of the contracts are worded in the way that it says, uh, do not, well, most of the contracts that you get initially are worded, do not speak negatively about this game. Uh, and in my case, those contracts immediately get reworked where I can. Um, I think some streamers are able to um, just go ahead and sign that, and that is what uh, their streams are about. They don't really say anything negative about the game. I've done, um, I think, two of those before, uh, but I make it very clear that it's a sponsored stream, and that's also something that uh, with Plaid became very, very common in all the streams because it was actually illegal to, to not say that it was sponsored. Um, and now you'll see like hashtag sponsored on everything. You'll see that uh, in the titles, it has to say, if it's through Twitch, it says powered by Twitch. If it's not through Twitch, it'll say powered by something else or brought to you by something else or um, whatever the other words are. Um, but yeah, I, I want to get some questions from the chat on what you guys uh, are saying in regards to, or what your questions are uh, regard, in regards to sponsored streams and also give a chance to Co, for Co and Zeke to talk about it. Cause I've been kind of filling the air. So Co, what, what are your thoughts on, on sponsored streams? Um, well, I have actually done a, a variety of sponsored streams. Um, I've done sponsored streams for many for Twitch over 10 for Twitch. I've done sponsored streams for Ubisoft, all, all sorts of different things. Um, one of the most important facets to me, as, as you kind of mentioned, JP, um, I will do a spawn. If someone wants me to play the their game, I will play their game for X amount of hours. And if, if they want to buy my time to do it, that's fine. But I make it very clear, that's what's being purchased is my t time. They're not buying my recommendation. They are not buying my positive feedback. If that was any part of the equation, then I would not even consider doing what they were asking to do. I, I, that, that's, it's, it's a, a lot of people say it's a fine line. It's a very thick line. Um, if, if any, if, you know, I'm, I'm not a commercial and I know if I ever was a commercial, the entire integrity of what I do would be put into question. And that, you know, so for, for me, that kind of thing is, you know, if, as long as I don't, as long as I don't need to say a s single thing in black and white on a piece of paper outside of check out this referral link, if you get the game, you know, that's, that's about as far as I would take it. Um, and anything outside of that, I wouldn't even entertain. 
And see, uh, I'm completely on the, of, excuse me, on the other end of the spectrum from that. I have no problem with that. Uh, if, I, if, I, if I read the contract and I look at it and say, like, you have to say that H1Z1, just since we were talking about it, you have to say that H1Z1 is the best game you've ever played um, or, you know, we won't sponsor you or whatever. If I still like the sponsorship or I like the deal, I'll do it. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Um, it's like, to me, it's like being paid to uh, be in a commercial. Like, if you're in a commercial, you get a script. You get a script, you read the script. It's fine. Um, if I, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if I don't like what, they, what they're forcing me to say, or, or excuse me, what they, what they contractually, what I'm contractually obligated to say, uh, then I won't sign the contract. But if they're like saying, like, hey, could you play this and, and uh, say this when you play it, something like that, if I like the game, and I'll, uh, sure, why not? It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me at all. And I think but, but just to be clear, okay, Steve, you're, you're saying that if you did not like the game, you would not do that. Like, you would, you would not sell a product that you didn't stand behind. And that's also up, for, up, for, up in the air as well. Um, okay, cool. It's, well, it's a thing. Like, if, if the contract says, like, just a huge, like, left field example. Like, if the contract says, you must say I agree with Hitler, you know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, but I'm saying, like, okay. well, I'm not going to sign that contract, but if it says, like, I love the taste of Mountain Dew, like, I, I'll say, you know, whatever. What if, it, what if it was an Assassin's Creed game that was horribly under-reviewed, and you played it, and you absolutely hated it? Would you still say you liked it if they paid you? Um, well, that, and therein lies the problem, because I'd have to play the game first. Mm. No, no let's, let's assume you've played it, and you don't like it. You think it's a buggy piece of trash? Yeah. Then and if I, they approach, then you would. Go you ahead. I think I, I. You're right about that. Maybe I'd have to backpedal on that. I think I might have to take that back. So if you put it in terms like that, then yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't. So yeah, I wouldn't do it. You're right. And that's kind of where I, I knew you were a good guy, Zeke. I knew you were. <laughs> Well, uh, that's just something to think about because, like, I've never, like... Think if you couldn't not, rage, Zeke. Think if you were playing a game and you couldn't yeah, be well, you. Here, here's you an example, rage, and this has actually happened out. to me. This has actually happened to me, and one of the contracts okay. is, you cannot swear. Would you sign something that says that, Zeke? That, yeah, that's fine. No problem? You wouldn't? Okay. Um, I mean, I'll... To be fair, he does great on my cast when we dual stream. I, <laughs> I, do, I do give it an effort. But, uh, but here's the thing. I am completely on the other side of, of this than you guys. I have never been personally offered a sponsorship. Right. They'll probably um, be coming. And that's, but that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like, I've never been personally offered a sponsorship. I've done sponsored streams. Like, I did the Lord of the Rings stream with Man vs. Game. Like, that's where, like, I do that stuff is with him or with, like, uh, it's a, it's a, um, like, a, a co uh, co-op, cooperational, like, thing. Where I am just a part of it. I'm not the one they asked, but I am a part of the the thing, you know. And I really I do my best, but that's the thing. Like I, the only thing I've ever received from any company or whatever um, is, uh, I the razor saw me like with my headphones and going like like I consistently was pushing my earbuds in, and I got they got a hold of me like, hey, um, these ones won't fall out of yours. You want to try them? I said absolutely, and I didn't have to sign anything. They just sent it to me. They're like, here you go. Right. I was like, okay. So I, I put them in, and I was like, oh, great. They don't fall on my ears. But they did break two weeks in. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, sponsorship is not something that I'm, that I'm a learned man about. So I hopeful, hopefully I can speak on the other end of it. Yeah, and I think that's a, a cool dynamic for sure. Um, yeah. Some of the stuff coming from the chat, uh, Polite's one was saying, well, do you guys think that it's a good direction uh, for sponsored team to note that they're sponsored? Uh, but what do you think about uh, donations while sponsored streams are occurring? Should you be accepting them? I don't think it really... I think if someone wants to tip someone while they're stream on a sponsored stream, that's totally up to them. Uh, they obviously need to make it clear that like it's a sponsored stream foremost, which you have to by most of these contracts. Uh, but I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Like, at the end of the day, if someone wants to tip you money while it's a sponsored stream, it's not a sponsored stream. Uh, you're dressed, whatever's on the stream, if someone wants to tip you money, I think it's okay. I don't see anything wrong with that. What, you guys have the same feeling? I think that's pretty black and white. Dude, if you like the show, 
show you like the show if yeah. the show is good if you want to throw money at it that's i mean who cares if it's sponsored at that point the the, the broadcaster is still putting in his time and energy to entertain right if you like that it should if, if sponsoring if being sponsored is a factor in that case the person probably shouldn't have been donating anyway but that's more of the a, a per donator basis than i would say like a, a global thing what about companies donating to the stream um I saw Nvidia subbed to a big streamer the other day, which I guess I'm okay with. Like it's a sub; it's not like they're sponsoring that stream by giving him the the five bucks and Twitch the or splitting the money with Twitch. Um, I I mean that's it's a weird thing, but it's not. I don't think it's a bad thing. Um, only no. if they're subbing for the recognition of subbing in front of twenty five thousand people, then it's fucked up. But you have to you have to think about it, JP. Would, would they ever not? I mean, they okay. Nvidia is certainly not going around subbing to other streamers. What other possible reason would they have to do that? I'm sorry. I think that's exactly what they're doing. Oh yeah, you just okay. Said. You think they're just subbing for the recognition of? They're subbing for the recognition. They're subbing for the PR. It's in it. Sure. It's, it's a company. It's a, it's like a corporate person that is a that is a corporation pledging support for a streamer. That's true. That's 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 one hundred percent PR. It's not like the the people running the, cor uh, the corporation. It's not a human. It's a company. Zeke, you've been wanting to jump in, so. I, in that, that, yes, that's I, I completely agree with Co. Uh, uh, as far as like that's why a company would do that. Um, it do, uh, it seems like it bothers you, JP, that they would do that. I have um, uh, when I was starting out, I would sub to channels. And uh, go into them and talk and chat and stuff. To um, not, I, I wouldn't. I would never, never overtly like put myself out there and say like, "Hey, I'm a streamer. Follow me." You know, blah 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 blah. But I would definitely go into bigger streams, chat it up as much as possible, so I get my name out there. Sure. And get my like my screen name uh, to be said from the streamer that's this big streamer or whatever. Like if I say something funny, like I try and be as clever as possible. Yeah, and I think but, that's uh, just networking. Okay, it, it's what, what, it's a it's a odd way of like it's a Twitch way of networking, uh, but sure, like that's I've definitely gone into streams before with the intent of like having a conversation with the streamer, in the sense of like, hey, if they say my name on stream, then people will be more prone to come visit my stream. It's kind of fucked up, but I think that's just a way of uh, doing things on Twitch. Like a lot of streamers do that. It. it and a lot of them are not doing it for that reason, right? They're doing it because they enjoy the stream and they're watching, they're friends with the streamer, and they'll just go and have a conversation, which more often than not is kind of what uh, is the, the thought process behind me just going into a stream. Uh, but sure, yeah, like I see a lot of uh, smaller streamers that'll go into bigger streamers' the channels and say the same thing or sub to them uh, in the hopes of like the streamer saying something to them, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but yeah, I think that's definitely, that's just something that happens on Twitch that is unique to Twitch, sure. Um, some other questions from the chat. Uh, Crazy Kazra says, JP, do these contracts require to be listed under the game on Twitch for a certain amount of time, even if their game is down, like sitting on H1Z1 splash screen? Uh, well, first off, no one's been sponsored. No one's being paid to play H1Z1. Um, so that's not even a no uh, in regards to that. Um, most of the games that are sponsored, like MMOs really don't do a sponsorship. I think Blizzard actually, speaking to them in general, finally stepped into like the realm of sponsored streams recently and i don't even again i haven't seen the contracts i don't know if money's being exchanged between the two people but uh trump has been doing some uh hearthstone videos that blizzard is pushing uh on youtube um and that is kind of the extent that i've seen blizzard do it but mmos i'm trying to think arc age was not sponsored um they uh, I, they gave out codes but Actually, I, I think they there was going to be an arcade sponsored thing. I think it fell through at the last second, and I know I know they did Rift stuff. Interestingly enough, but Rift that's all did trying. Some stuff? Oh, okay. Trying I think, I think Rift did some stuff too. Yeah. Okay. I was. I. I but it's all again. That. It's it's just for it's releases. They sure. want to drum up a huge amount of PR for releases. I think there was a Rift expansion, and AA just came out. You know, it's it's just drumming up PR. Yeah. Um. But yeah, uh, to to answer your question more specifically. Uh, no, I don't think that's a requirement that if the game is down, you have to sit on their splash screen. Typically, uh, and this has happened before, um, if a game is not working, um, 
they will just cancel the deal or can't they, they will postpone the broadcast is usually what happens um and this has happened i'm actually not even going to cite the companies or, or the the games but it's happened before to me um there was actually a game that i was going to do a sponsored stream with that uh was just flat out canceled even after the contracts were signed um and that's just because they didn't want to have a streamer promoting their game while it was in a broken state is pretty much the the general philosophy behind that um you guys have any thoughts I on that i i had the exact same thing happen with a uh an, an unnamed racing game actually like everything was all set up and ready to go and then you know a few hours before it was like oh everything's everything's hit the fan and then you know we don't even know if it's going to be working by the time you do it so pff, axed <laughs> yeah yeah uh, so um go ahead i've honestly i've been sitting here stewing for a second about um talking about uh, um, sponsor streams and what I'd be willing to do and stuff like that. I've been sitting here stewing about it, and um, I think uh, I just I just wanted to say, like, what it comes down to, I guess, is what my personal uh, uh, moral code would be. Absolutely, yeah. And that's the thing, like, I think I may have spoke too soon, but I, I think that's what it would be. Like, what is my moral code? Like, what do I feel comfortable doing and what do I not feel comfortable doing? What will, what will be me and what will be, you know, a lie or whatever. Sure. Uh, that kind of thing. And I think it's, it's, it's a case to case basis. I would have to say. And yeah, uh, I, I'd agree with you too. Most of this, bo- like what I said, bothered me, you know, it bothered me cause I was like, cause you brought up a good, you I mean, you brought up good questions to ask me and stuff like that. And although I'm speaking from a place of no, uh, no experience with it, um, it started like really festering in my brain. Like, would you really, would you really? And it's like, it's just a moral line that, you know, each person draws for themselves. Right. Uh, most of the games that I have done sponsored stream for, um, I kind of knew, I, I didn't know 100%, but I knew that I would enjoy the game. So, uh, I think someone was asking about kind of what you guys were talking about earlier as well. Uh, I would think that most streamers will do that. Like they're not going to, sign something because the monetary value is so large that they're just like yeah i fucking pony brigade 2015 is the best game i've ever played thumbs up like no one no streamers actually gonna do that because the second that you do your audience will know that you've sold out your audience will immediately pick up on the fact that you are completely lying because their audiences know every single one of these streamers that's that's what a community is right um, and so I don't think we've ever seen that on, uh, on any stream. Like I'm trying to think back on all the sponsored streams I've done. I've done shadow of Mordor. I've done the crew. Uh, these are just the ones that are sticking out. And like, I've actually genuinely enjoyed all of those games. Granted, sure. They had their problem. Shadow of Mordor won game of the year on a billion list, but at launch it had its fair share of problems. Um, but I, I don't think I've ever done a game that I just inherently hated, uh, have you, Co, have you done anything like you, most of the stuff you sign? You, it's stuff that you're interested in, right? I, I, yes. There, there have been a few. What, what I do every so often is I kind of have these more adventurous sponsorships where I, I go into one of these events again, making sure it's understood that I can say whatever I want, but also not fully being, not fully knowing how I'm going to feel about the product. This includes. Um, I did. Uh, Two visits back to Firefall, which I had actually pl- played for about an hour about a year before and just not liked. That was but, you know, they Arcade. sold me. Well, I remember that one. Yeah, yeah. They they told that you know the Firefall team was like, no, we made all these changes and we want to show them off, and it's good you haven't played because it'll be like a new game to you and all this stuff. And I said, okay, you know what? I'll give it a try. And you know, I I ended up doing two sponsored streams, and it was one of those things where I played a couple hours with it, and at the end of my second sponsored stream, as I said to the stream, I was like, I'm. I'm pretty much, you know, I'm, I'm good with Firefall. That was a fun experience. I think if you like what you saw, you'd like it, but I think that's about it for me. Yeah. And, you know, it was just kind of like, and then um, I, did a, uh, I did a MOBA, which I generally don't play, but it was, was on the, mobile? the iPad. Yeah, yeah, I did it the was same. Was that iPad Heroes in Order of Chaos? Yes, yeah, yes, it was. I, did the I think, didn't you, did you, you do some with DJ Weed, didn't you? Or yeah, yeah, me and Weed tagged yeah. in that one, yeah. Yeah, and and you know when I went into that one, I was like, I'm not a big fan of MOBAs, but they kind of spun this angle of you know playing, leaning back in your chair, and just kind of you know enjoying it. And, and there were some really cool little facets of it that kind of interested me. So I said, sure, I'll give it a try. I did that for a couple hours, and at the end of that stream, like I said, I was like, oh, it's 
it's, you know, lol with a cash shop and it's on an iPad. <laughs> you know, it's enjoy. Right. Um, you know, and, and that was kind of that work. And finally, the, the most recent one I did that was really interesting because I didn't really know how to approach it is I did a promotional for the Alienware Alpha, which is a PC kind of uh, Steam box replacement esque thing is that, that you can the hook into your thing? TV. Is that it's it's a little box. It's a little oh, square okay. box. box. Actually, let me keep. It's in here somewhere. It's it's a fully functional computer, which is what turned me on to it. The coolest part, but it's literally like it's hmm. a tiny little thing. And um, you know, I said when I did that, I was like, you know, I'll check it out. You know, I'll I'll look at this stream. And they were really proactive about it. You know, they they we ended up having a phone call, and you know, I got to ask all these questions like, why would I want to buy this over anything else? You know, what's why why should I show this to me? you know? And and they gave me good reasons back. And it was very much more of a dialogue than a marketing. This is what you're gonna say. This is what you're gonna say. And you know, at the end of that phone call, I was like, you know, sure, I'll look at it on stream. And that's what I did. And it actually ended up being a really fun stream. And and yeah. I actually. You know, I, it's a pretty solid little thing. But um, at the same time, this right now is the first time I've talked about it since the stream. I don't even think I've mentioned it since then. So it's, you know, it's every so often you get ones that are kind of like, yeah, I really want to try this. And this is going to be something I may do in the future. And then there's other ones that you do where it's just kind of like, you know, I'll do this, but I probably wouldn't have done this normally. And I probably won't do it too much when I'm done with it. Doesn't mean I won't enjoy myself and like it, but it's just not, you know, I, I'd rather spend my time doing other things right and and i think that to speak to like the heroes of order and chaos whatever that mobile mobile was uh like the the only reason that i agreed to do that was that because me and Weep were playing it together if i had to sit there and play that game on my own i knew that it would be a terrible broadcast one and i knew that i would hate it too uh so i wouldn't have signed it so we went back to them and said like hey do you mind if we do a co-broadcast and they were like yeah that's that's totally fine uh, and again, they were willing to work with us, which I would say probably 99% of these groups are. Uh, they're willing to work with streamers and try to get... Because they want the better stream, right? They don't want a stream where the streamer's boring, or, or bored is the better thing to say, uh, or where they visibly look like they're not having fun. Because uh, that's just bad advertisement, right? That, that's just the nature of advertisement. Um, um, I just wanted to ask you guys, because I've been seeing it a lot in chat, um, a word or two-word combo, whatever you want to call it. What do you guys think of the word sellout? Just in I, general? Just, like, well, I'm just saying, like, there's people calling, like, flinging that around. They just fling it around whenever anybody gets paid to do anything. Whenever anybody that, gets paid to do anything, I'll, someone says, you're a sellout. Uh, I, it's, it goes back to what we were just talking about. A sellout is someone who will say Anything about a product for money, regardless of their personal moral compass on the issue, or even just enjoyment of it. A sellout is someone whose opinion can be bought. And that's an important thing to say, opinion. Sure. Who, how, how they talk about, react to, and visually enjoy a product. If you can buy that from somebody, that's when they're a sellout. Okay, what if, I mean, I pay, like, you know, uh, Beyonce to sell Doritos. And she doesn't even Does like Beyonce Doritos. normally eat Doritos. Oh, then that's selling out. So okay. But then again, here you have to keep in mind. You have to I, keep I in mind that... there are professional sellouts. If you you know <laughs> if you're an actor, no, no I'm serious. I'm that's serious. totally true. If you're acting in a commercial. If you're an actor and and someone approaches you and says, "Hey, we want you to to drape," you know, if you're a female actress, we want you to drape yourself on top of this car that you've never driven before, and then talk about how much you love driving it. We'll give you forty five grand for that. That's her job. She's a professional See, yeah. seller. And I, I think that sellout that, is... That's, that's not a bad thing in that case. In and my mind... It's always a negative. Yeah, in my mind, like, the, the word sellout is such an aggressive word. Like, it's... it's uh, Like, I think that in some it cases, the word professional can be interchangeable with the word sellout. If we're a professional streamer, we stream games for money. Thus, if you're streaming the crew because Ubisoft paid you to do that... You are streaming the crew as a professional streamer, not as a sellout. I think that sellout is just a, a word that's super overused. And then at the end of the day, uh, at the end of the day, we are streamers that are professional streamers. We're doing this to make money. And if you're getting tips, are you not selling out to your community because they're tipping you? Like, isn't money's being exchanged there? You could make well, a case for that uh, to be true. 
I think we'd really have to start talking about the definition of sellout at that point, which again, I think a lot of times is an eye of the beholder situation where sure. it's the kind of thing where, you know, what is a sellout to you? In a case you're talking about, I would never say receiving tips is selling out, but that's, but that's because my personal definition of sellout is what I mentioned before. Sure. And that, you know, no one's buying my opinion if they donate me money. They may buy a thanks if I don't miss it. But, you know, it's the kind of thing where, you know, it's, it's, it's by no means influencing my opinion. So you're saying, okay, so your, your personal definition of sellout uh, might be uh, being paid to lie. To, to, being have, a, paid, to have a... Being well, paid like to that. lie to promote or sell a product. I okay. want to be careful just not saying being paid to lie because you could say that's an actor. I take umbrage with or take issue with that. But <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying a, good, a good actor, a good actor is a fantastic liar. It, it, they can completely sell you on them being someone they don't even have any affiliation with. You know what I'm saying? Like my my it's the, the sellout has to involve selling. Essentially, it has their money needs to be involved or or personal benefit of some kind, be it a beach house in Maui or some some transaction has to take place. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and you're a huge liar because you're an actor. Well, that, that that's the thing. Like, that's that's the only thing I take issue with is because it's if if you are somebody else and in you know whatever whoever's opinion you want to talk about. But I've I've done like acting classes and da 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 blah blah blah, and um, it's acting is more about truth, like finding the truth of the character. You're not lying as the character. Blah 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 blah. It's just that's bullshit. And that's why it was like that's the way like my hackles got immediately. I was like, no. But, I'm not an actor, and what you said is, is very interesting. No, I, I certainly see why that would sound strange with that mindset. Absolutely. But, but, and that's what I'm saying. Like, if, if you know, Beyonce's doing a commercial, that's Beyonce. But if she's in a movie, she's somebody, she's not Beyonce. Sure. And that's, like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, go, ahead, go ahead. I'm just reading chat constantly. There's a lot of different opinions out there, so I'd love to, to discuss some of them. But, Zeke, you were going to continue. Um, no, no, no. I that that was that was all I had. Uh, I was actually I'm actually was going to. Um, <laughs> I was looking for uh, the commercials that I've done. <laughs> oh. oh, oh! I actually watched one of your commercials a long, long time ago. I forgot what it was for because it was, was like it, a year ago. Was it the toothbrush? It might have been. I remember okay. there. I remember you. Yeah, you were like Brett. I think it was the toothbrush, and like I, was I, the I, joke around the, your wife or your would-be wife talking to you about something. Oh, that was the that was the bug the bug commercial. That's the bug commercial. I do remember that. I do remember yep. that. Man, that was that was like a year ago, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. A, it was quite a while ago. Yeah. Um, one of the other things too that to kind of like talk. You, you mentioned the word sellout, and I think that is a word that is overused. And I think why you're seeing so much of that come from stream chat is that Twitch has become this bastion of like the last place in the world where you can get unbiased commentary on games that a lot of people think like no one goes to game reviews for the most part anymore no one goes and reads uh, or watches like a video review of it uh, because they don't know like that person very well some people do but for the most part people will go and watch twitch to see if they're going to decide to buy a game it's really become like the number one spot on the internet and now that a lot of these uh, opinions are potentially being bought out uh, that's why i think you're seeing the word pop up so much uh, but people got to keep in mind that it's actually illegal for you to not state on probably a lot of cases, uh, or on all cases rather, um, that you're not being sponsored for a stream. Like, there are real legal actions that could take place if someone is drinking something that they're being paid to drink on stream, blah, 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 blah. Like, that's all 100% illegal on a lot of things. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Like, if you see someone drinking a Dr. Pepper on a stream, it's because they fucking want to drink a Dr. Pepper on stream. Uh, I, I hope that one day we don't live in a world where Twitch is like, all right, guys, you got to tape over any brand names on your stream because this, who knows if the chat knows that you're drinking that because you're being paid for it or because you genuinely enjoy scope crest complete toothbrush paste. <laughs> like, like that, that's what happens on TV, right? Uh, is that you actually have to cover a lot of that stuff out. Uh, when I worked at MLG, um, a lot of the brands that we actually were sponsored by, uh, 
I don't really, I can't remember any names because it was so long ago, but if you had a conflicting case of water, for example, that wasn't bottled by that company, you had to rip the thing off around it or else you could get in big fucking trouble with your sponsors for showing another brand on your stream. Uh, and that's just kind of how advertising works. Uh, and that's how a lot of outside of streaming advertising works when it comes to video um, that maybe people are not aware of. <laughs> JP confirmed selling out to Big Toothpaste. You know it, TB. Uh, um, you, you don't know how they pressure you. They pressure you. Dude, They. I couldn't brush my teeth for weeks without Crest Complete. <laughs> Leaving the scenty, minty taste in my mouth. It was amazing. Thanks yep. to Scope. Maybe that. you sell that toothpaste a little harder with send the cavity creep after you. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It's just the... Oh, Zinti. We make... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the league of dentistry out there just trying to fuck over streamers. Um, someone in the, in the chat, uh, Miss Chaotica, had a, a great comment. Uh, what do you feel gets a streamer over to the point where some companies approaches them for sponsorship? This is actually really interesting and it kind of opens up another topic. Um, I think generally what will open your stream up to get sponsorship is around 100k followers. That's where a lot of companies will start seeing you um, pop into their bullshit programs or websites that then they are able to contact and then they'll start trying to contact you. Uh, it generally is a numbers game for the most part. One thing that's a little bit weird and uh, I'll probably hurt some feelings talking about this uh, um, is that for the most part, Twitch controls who gets these sponsorships. And for the most part, they have their go-to people for these sponsorships and they don't really vary very much. They don't really change who is getting these stuff, the, these sponsored streams um, that often. In fact, not very often. Um, so that's why you'll see a lot of streamers doing sponsored streams and a lot of other streamers never doing sponsored streams just because it's who Twitch knows because they're kind of the, the gatekeepers in that regard. And I don't know if there's guidelines that Twitch has behind the scenes, if they have their go-to people, if they watch streams and determine, hey, that person would be a good fit for this or how that whole thing is worked out. But... I would love some transparency on that front uh, from Twitch on how that's worked out, even if it's not transparent to the public, maybe behind the scenes if there's, uh, I know for example, uh, Polaris, the group that I work with, a lot of the stuff is actually all in a database that people in that network can go to and look at all of the things that is available. And if you want to, you can sign up to that. But in also some other cases, I just get contacted directly. Um, so what do you guys think about that with, with Twitch being, for the most part, the gatekeepers of like sponsored streams? Should that not be the case? Zeke, do you want to go ahead? Yeah, and I don't, I mean, I, it's, it's, I'm speaking from a, a place of no experience, but the idea of it, it's we go to Twitch to get seen. Mm -hmm. uh, we ask them in you know not you know not that so many words or whatever if we can be seen on their website um and they give us permission to do that um so that i don't think that would bother that bothers me that they have like the keys to like that kind of stuff um because in all honesty they could say like well, you don't like it go to whatever other site and um see how that works for you what do you think, Co? I'm. It it there's a lot of interesting things to consider when talking about this stuff. Particularly, you know, the the perspective of those that are offering Twitch these contracts. They want to put their name on streamers that are going to represent their product well to a large audience. Sure. So. They're, they're, you know, moving, looking at that. Now, one thing I did kind of want to ask you real quick before I continue, JP, when you said the same streamers are getting picked over and over and other streamers aren't, are we talking about other streamers aren't at the same level of yeah, follow? Correct. Or, okay. And okay. even more so now, followers in that case. And, and maybe it's the case that, again, I don't know what's going on uh, in, in emails and whatnot of some of these other streamers, but perhaps they're just turning it down. But more often than not, I can think of three big streamers that will probably at least towards the end of 2014, they had a sponsored stream once a week or once every other week. 
Uh, and the, the viewership was not great on those streams either. It was not like they were doing an exceptional job pushing the product in the terms of viewership. Uh, it was just that they were kind of the go-to guy for Twitch to throw some of these games to. And that's kind of what I'm getting at. Like, should Twitch... I, I understand why Twitch is the gatekeeper for that, but should they not be? Like, is there something wrong with that is probably the best way for me to ask that question. Well, the, okay, going going off that right there, the, the thing that I find important to consider here is, you know, Twitch Twitch is twitches i mean let's 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 be you know brass tacks at the end of the day mm -hmm. all of us are doing this this show right now because of twitch and them allowing us to to do this so at the end of the day th the gates are owned by them so you know them picking who is going to represent what they want to the people that are giving them money because remember every one of these sponsored streams is also going to get Twitch a good amount of kickback as well. So, you know, they, they need to choose themselves who are properly going to represent their brand. And I'm getting, I'm so sorry I'm a robot out there, guys. I have no idea what's going on. You're fine for I'll the most part. It's, it's just Skype. Okay. I don't think it's anything like Well, and it, I it's actually your terrible internet. <laughs> I completely agree with you, Co. Like, as far as, and that's, that's the point that my brain didn't come to, but that's kind of where I was going with that, is that um, if we skip the Twitch middleman, and Twitch finds out that you're being sponsored by uh, Marlboro or whatever. Sure. And they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. I think that should be, you know, they're right. Say, like, Twitch does not want to be associated with Marlboro or whatever. Sure. You know, that should be their, their you know, uh, uh, right to say no because it's their site. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, so okay. I, I'm, I'm, I guess everyone, right now on the show, everyone's gears are just spinning in their head as we think about this is kind of what I'm sensing uh, as I go from question to question. Um, That's a great question. Though. But JP, I want to, I want to fire something back at you. Sure. If, if it wasn't Twitch picking, what would be the other system? If it like what, how, if Twitch was not deciding who did the sponsored streams, sure. who would? I would say that it would be these third party companies or the companies directly talking to streamers. And a lot of the case, uh, Twitch actually does the streamers a favor by being the middleman because they make sure that the contracts favor the streamer, which is something I talked about at the beginning of this. Um, and without that, most of the people that are signing these contracts pretty much across the board, not even speaking to the sponsored streams, are not reading the contracts. And so by having Twitch being the first ones to see these contracts, which they are, before they even go to any streamers, I'm 99% sure that Twitch is looking at the contracts in depth and making sure that it does favor the streamers themselves and not the company, um, or at least doesn't do harm to the streamer. Uh, that is uh, one, taking away legal fees for the streamer because most of us should have, if you don't already, have a lawyer that's looking over these contracts for you. Um, so you're saving those legal fees. And it's also just being nice, like, hey, why don't you stream this game and sign this piece of paper and you'll get X amount of dollars for it. Uh, that's a pretty nice thing to get an email about every once in a while. Um, but uh, what I, I think I, I strayed from your, your original question. Can you, did, did I answer your question, Co? That, that, that was, was pretty much of it. Consciousness, My, yeah. consciousness answer. You're, you're saying that essentially the, the Twitch would be bypassed in that case. And oh, yeah. Then yeah. The, and and they, yeah. they still are in many cases. Um, there, there are, and again, uh, the people that I worked with, with are Plaid. Um, I forget the full name, but that's kind of the, I did too for the crew. Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, yeah. I think that's generally one of the, the bigger groups right now that a lot of streamers are working with. Um, and then at the same day, at the same time, like, the same thing could be asked. Like, if those, if Plaid is generally the, the biggest group out there, then are they the gatekeepers for this? Like, then they always go to those same streamers because they're happy with it. it. It's it's an interesting world because it's not, like, not everyone is getting a fair shake. Um, there are streams which are blowing up and they will probably never see a sponsored stream for whatever reason that is. Uh, and, and so I'm just, maybe I'm just saying that it's it's not fair for a lot of people out there and that sucks. Maybe that's what my final point is. Because I don't know, like, how to go back to Chaotica's question. I don't know how you get your name out there other than just streaming. Like, there's no. It's not like you hit a certain number and they're like, oh, yeah, this guy just broke X amount of whatever. Let's get him a sponsored stream. That's not really how it works. It's usually, hey, we did this one thing with this guy. It was pretty good. Let's contact him again. 
it's generally how it I, works. I would add one thing to that. I will say that I have had more than a couple of my opportunities come from me writing probably longer than they need to be emails with hopefully perfect formatting to people saying, this is who I am, this is what I do. You know, I, I've seen you work with other streamers. Would you be interested in working together? I mean, I've gotten more than a few opportunities doing that. Sure. So, you know, I, I do want to just kind of mention that there is something to be said for really professionally representing yourself and oh, yeah. putting yourself yeah. out there. A lot of times you don't want to wait for this kind of stuff. You want to, you know, kind of go out and grab it yourself. Sure. And, and I, I'm, not saying that it, I'm not saying that it never happens. It totally happens. Like, hell. And, and to be fair, I didn't even start doing that until 100K. Yeah, just like, like 100K saying. for whatever reason seems like the magical number. Uh, at least right now, a nice round, even big number. Yeah, I mean, and you you say a hundred thousand to any advertiser, and their you know their eyes are going to perk up a little bit. A hundred k. Well, at least on Twitch, if you yeah. say a million yeah. to people on YouTube, well, yeah. then yeah, they're like, Twitch, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's and that's where I'm at. I'm on my way to that. And then, I'm and, on my way to to getting uh, into the, in, the popularity and like doing co streams, like doing the the role play and doing the like. All that other stuff, just being uh, generally like, uh, this is going to be a really long adjective. Work with a bull guy <laughs> has helped me so much, and that's that's it's moving me on my way to that. So maybe I'll have something to say intelligently on the topic once that start, once that happens. You know. Well, dude, no, you're offering. I mean, it's great to have insight from from that side of the fence as well. Oh, yeah. There's no questions. It's There's no question, Zeke. No question. You will start getting this stuff. Like you, you know, you're getting more popular. You're getting on shows. You've got and there's 6,300 people watching you right now. And there's somebody out there right now going, "Oh, that guy hasn't got any sponsors, or hasn't got any sponsorship <laughs> stuff yet." Like someone is looking. I can tell you right now, the 6,300 people, someone out there is thinking of a way they could probably market you. Because again, you're you're you're, you're a, a likable dude that doesn't have sponsors yet, so you'll probably jump on them. Yeah, sponsors. It's true. Don't don't give away don't give away the reason why we did this show you guys <laughs> look there's no question uh, I don't like a sellout when Zeke stops swearing on his cast you guys will know that he is officially 100% sold out <laughs> <laughs> there it is, yeah. so I cut my hair um, talk with a calm and relaxing tone <laughs> no more yelling no more fire exactly <laughs> exactly um I'm trying to see if there's any other topics that I, I pulled a lot of stuff into a notepad. Maybe we should just start taking uh, questions from the, the form here. Uh, so not, oh, so someone was asking just so we can clear this. Uh, none of you ever hated a game so much, but because you were broadcasted, you faked your opinion uh, as or for it to be positive. Uh, no, most of the stuff again that I sign, I know that I'm generally gonna like, so that's why it's being signed. Um, I would never. In the, in the a long long time ago when I started out with MLG, MLG was given things that we were, that as a company uh, were promoting just because that was part of the deal. And I've done those before where it was fucking the worst hour of my life playing something that I absolutely hated, and I'm never gonna do it again. Like hopefully no one is in that, uh, no one is ever in that position because it is it is god fucking awful. It is god fucking awful. Um, Cody, you want to ask you want to ask that question you just pasted in Skype? Oh yeah, I, I think that's an interesting question. Sure. Uh, Geek Domo is asking, Co and Zeke, do you guys think it's swearing uh, holding us up? Um, yes and no. Like, I think you're going to see a lot of broadcasters clean up their vocabulary uh, just because it does potentially hurt uh, sponsorships coming to you. Um, and it makes it easier for someone to approach you when they know that like you're not going to swear inherently or they don't have to ask you not to swear. Uh, but at the end of the day, like, uh, yes, but at the same time, it's really just up to a, a streamer. Like, I'm probably always going to swear. I still get these, these sponsorship stuffs, and a lot of the times they ask me not to swear, uh, and I'll let a couple things loose in the cast just to get away with it or see if I can get away with it, uh, which is probably not good. Uh, but at the end of the day, like it's pretty, I turned it off for MLG. So it's very easy for me, but the, co the question was directed to you guys. So what do you guys think? Uh, as far as swearing, holding me back. 
Yeah, from, from uh, potentially sponsorships. Um, do I think they? Do I think it does? Um, yes, absolutely it does. Absolutely, there's. I mean, I'll, I'll never be sponsored by Gerber baby food, you know, or anything like that. But what then if again, babies don't know? Maybe you will. They don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, as long as you say in like a really nice voice, like oh, you know, swearing, swearing baby talk. Um, but, uh, but then again, it might open up other doors for, I don't know, like I know a, a stream that is, that has a sponsorship deal with lovers playground who sell sex toys right. and like that kind of stuff. Um, so I think the more real you are, the more like, like, uh, um, Doors will be open and doors will be closed. I swear, I'm a fucking loud mouth and I, uh, I'm vulgar, but I'm also, you know, energetic. So, like, like if, I stopped, if I stopped swearing, I would get different people knocking. If I don't, oh, then yeah. I get other people. You know what I'm saying? I, so, I, I don't think it's, I think it's a matter of, of does our product fit you rather than me having to fit that. It's a good point. It's definitely a good point. Co, what do you think? Uh, well, you know, as, as many people know, uh, when I started on Twitch, I was extremely piratey. Um, I, you know, I would, I cussed all the time. If you look at my earlier highlights, I was, yeah. We're pirates I would, because I, we swear. Is that what it is? Yes. You're okay. salty pirates. All yes, right. we all were. And, um, but you know, uh, it was, and I did get to a point where I decided, you know, I want to do this as a profession. I want to try to show myself professionally and a part of that was significantly cutting down on not only the language I use but the language I allow in the community. So I, I will say that since that time uh, the channel has definitely thrived and there's no question that I've you know done a lot of sponsor stuff but you know I, I do need to very largely point out that I made this jump before, you know, my 100K. So it's kind of hard to say, you know, if I could go back in time, I think it'd be really interesting if I had just not touched the language and gone down the same path to see what would have happened. But I, I will say in terms of, you know, of, of professionalism, I, I do think that when given two very good streamers, one of them is cussing and one of them isn't, and a company has to decide who do we want to put our name on. Totally. I believe that language is a factor. Um, I will uh, say that um, it, it it just just on the other side of that, it depends on how much you care about uh, moving your business in that vein. Like if you Absolutely. want to move your business in that vein to garner more sponsorships, to stuff like that. To and it's I mean I know you swear, Co. And you edit yourself, and that's something that that is it's important to me not to do. Right, and I, I think that there, there's another. I, I don't I don't know what it what to call. There's another thing that eventually, if you are a broadcaster that is seeing like amazing growth, you can pretty much do whatever the fuck you want, and it gets to a point where you're just going to be too big to ignore. Uh, and the, the, uh, the idea of cursing kind of goes out the window. The idea of pretty much anything except you just being you on your broadcast is what people go there to watch. And if a sponsorship is going to contact you, it's going to be simply because of your numbers, not because like they know that you're going to be a good spokesperson for their brand or that, uh, they know that you're not going to curse or that blah, like whatever the, the, the requirements are, they just go out the window because it's, Hey, I have. 30,000 plus people watching me on a daily basis. Like the number is probably the most important thing I would think for all of this. Uh, but there are definitely a billion other things that come into play, but numbers should, I, I think viewership, follower count, all that stuff is probably like the number one. If, if someone has a billion followers and someone has a million followers, of course, a billion followers is going to get the deal 100% out of the time. Even if he says, well, there's an extent, but even if he's cursing uh, every other second, he's still gonna get the thing, right? Uh, but dude, at that at that point, it's like at that point, it, even if the billion guy hates whatever product he's representing, like there come sure, there's a, sure, there's a, sure, there's sure. definitely a point when it's like when it doesn't you matter, know, yeah. PR, it doesn't matter what kind of PR, if it's bad PR, good PR, it's still PR. Sometimes yeah. numbers are all that matter. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Yep. 
Um, all right. Well, I think we've kind of answered at least most of the questions I've seen. A lot of uh, amazing discussion in the chat. So that's that's really cool uh, to see that type of stuff. That's I think that the intention of this show is to get people kind of talking about this stuff on a more common uh, common basis and hopefully not in an inflammatory uh, way, which it hasn't been in the chat. So that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, um, oh, go ahead. I, and then I got one more thing. Okay, I just wanted to uh, I just wanted to address this um, cuz I have it, I had have it on, oh my god. I've had it on my mind <laughs> uh, since we started the show and someone someone said something in chat that kind of brought it up again. Um, you guys uh, JP and Co are huge streamers uh, on Twitch and stuff like that. And um, we're pro- but, we're, but, go ahead. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying like whether you small to mid-range, but well, that's what I'm whether whether you um, <laughs> Whether you see it or not, I mean, there's like a, there's like a tier. It's like, it's like most like ninety percent of them are like tier one, like tier one streamers, and then there's like five six steps up from that. And uh, Co and JP are probably two to three steps above what my like as far as my viewership and you know that kind of stuff. And um, the thing that I wanted to, to address is I think it's I think it's um, beneficial to have uh that like have me on the show for that reason and uh i just wanted to alleviate any questions as to why i'm on the show and you don't have somebody else who is of your tier and i think all uh, personality say what you want but like that is i i think it's beneficial to show that that a lower tier is on the show with you guys there you go um cody you want to Talk to that or because I, I do have one final thing from the chat and then we can move on. Uh, I think I think that's fantastic. Yeah, uh, that's great commentary. Uh Gex Master nineteen ninety one. JP, is it okay to get your own contracts? Totally, yes, one hundred percent. Uh even seeking out sponsorships. I think that that's probably in fact I, I Twitch does not Twitch is not the middleman for like sponsorships of streams. They're the middleman for game companies that are going to Twitch saying, Hey, we want to broadcast your stuff on there. Uh, or our stuff on your stream, is there a broadcast that you think would be better for it? Uh, they're not the people that is being contacted by Corsair and saying, hey, we want to broadcast X amount of streamers. Uh, or sorry, we want to sponsor. I'm getting all my terms messed up. We want to sponsor X amount of streamers. Who should we sponsor? Um, sponsorships are generally straight to the streamer, as far as I know. Uh, there might be one or two cases where it's not. But again, there's always the X factor. Um, I have not. Yeah, I haven't heard of any. Well, no, no, I haven't heard of any sponsors going through Twitch. Actually, events, yes, but I don't think any sponsors. Yeah. Not that I know of. No events. Yeah. 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 Um, and how would you go about let twitting, letting Twitch know? Uh, well, the second that I do sign everything and get it all worked out, I will email uh, the. I forget his actual title, and I won't say his name because it doesn't matter what his name is. But I will email someone at Twitch and saying, "Hey, I'm doing this sponsored stream." on X day, I've made sure that it will be called powered by sponsored, whatever the parameters are in the contract. I'm just letting you guys know and making sure you're aware of the fact that this is a sponsored stream so that you can put the sponsored thing on it. If it does get featured on the front page. Um, and that's just out of courtesy. That's not required by Twitch. Um, if it was, then it's probably better because all streams that are sponsored should have the little sponsored thing that Twitch will put on it when it's on the front page which is something that they introduced uh, pretty recently and I think is great because um, it lets the viewers know right off the bat as well as all the other ways that or all the other places that you can see it's a sponsored stream. Um, but yeah, that's hopefully I answered your question, Gex. Uh, okay. Let's do some, uh, some user questions and I think the majority of these will be focused on sponsorship stuff. Uh, but if you have a question, uh, we'll get it linked in the chat. You can submit it through the uh, Google form that we've got set up. Uh, and again, we do want to have this stuff via highlights, but, uh, this show is missing graphics, right? Now. Like there's a lot of stuff that's being missed and it's because PAX South is in basically 24 hours. <laughs> it's like, oh God, it is. <laughs> it's like oh, fucking oh. with everyone. So, oh, oh. so it'll get better and better as time goes on. Um, I like this name. I love motorboating. Uh, ask, uh, does Twitch have the ability to force or quote, strongly encourage its streamers to participate in events, promotions, or sponsorships? Uh, I mean, what number was that? I'm sorry, on the spreadsheet. Sixty-seven. Thank you. Um, 
yes, but they would never do that. Like, I can't think of an instance. I mean, yeah, Soma did say, like, hey, you're fucking playing in this PJ Sultan event or we're going to renew, <laughs> not going to renew your response. But, I mean, besides I that. I told him I didn't want to do it, and he said he'd, tell, he'd shut my channel down. Yeah, I, mean, I got the same. Strong. I mean, he's he's the fucking X Factor in this case, but. Uh, I had dirty that. pictures, so he would let me. Oh, sh I oh okay. Pictures of oh. him or something. Yeah. Right? And so I said, these will go yeah. out if you find me in the it turn. It goes both ways, apparently, with Soma <laughs> uh, in multiple cases. Um, but yeah, apart from that, no. not a, I can't think of a... If anything, it. most of the time when Twitch contacts a streamer, the answer is, yes, I'll do whatever the fuck you want us to do because it's generally a good thing and it's generally an awesome thing that they're coming to us with. Um, Twitch is one of the coolest bosses to have ever if they if they come i mean and we love what we do so it's like if they come to us and say hey we want to work with you on x thing we're already going to be highly inclined to say yes to whatever it is because again like you know this whole thing is capable because of the structure they've set up there's very little reason we wouldn't want to work with them unless of course like i actually just recently turned on an app because i don't have time to do it it doesn't yep. sync up and they just go yeah okay okay no problem well, talk to doesn't someone else yeah, work no for problem. you yeah, talk, we'll find someone else to do it. Zeke, you have anything come, besides the fact that we're just joking about Soma, so no one thinks that he's actually this evil? <laughs> <laughs> no, I I couldn't agree more. I I, I love my boss. There you go. <laughs> uh, and it, if the two of you have questions to pull, feel free. Um, I'm just kind of skimming through this list. Does this thing update in real time, Co? Is it auto refreshing? Do you know? Uh, it's a standard Google Doc. So uh, yeah, whatever. I don't, I don't know if it. I, I don't know. We've got 81 questions right now. If I refresh, uh, oh, we'd have yeah. Well, no, that, I think it is actually auto updating. Anyways, that doesn't matter. Does, I've seen them appear. Okay, cool. Yep. Uh, how are front? Oh, this is a good question. How are front page streams selected? How big of an incentive would it be for you to do a sponsored stream if admit you would be on the front page for X hours? I think it's a pretty big incentive. Um, I think the money is more of an incentive, but getting on the front page of Twitch uh, is really important. You can get a huge influx of people that would never check out your stream otherwise. Um, and then that is your chance to like really get them interested in your stream. Um, and that's, that's a really, really big thing um, for pretty much anyone out there. Uh, because even like the front page is mostly reserved for esports events, special case streams, or uh, or shows during the middle of the night, it starts to be a stream rotation, um, which Twitch kind of handles on their end. But apart from that, I think there's, there's really no one else that's front page. I think that's everyone else. But yeah, for me, it's a huge incentive to get on the front page. What about for you guys? I, it's for me, front page is actually way more important than, than uh, money. And I would... <laughs> Not that I want Twitch to hear this, but there are definitely situations when I would bypass money for that. I mean, that's some, it, it really, especially if, you know, you've been in a sump lately, there hasn't been many high titles out, you know, you've been playing games that haven't been being on Twitch for a while, and you just really could use an influx of new viewers to your community. I mean, there are times when, you know, I would, I would gladly forgo pay to just to get a few hours on the front page. That being said, um, you know, it's the kind of thing where it, it's, it's, Twitch is doing some very interesting thing with the front pages right now, particularly uh, like in one of their recent blog posts, they talked about how they're going to start like picking part like smaller partners and putting them in front page rotation, featured streamers and stuff like that. So as they kind of move towards that direction, I think that that's going to be better for kind of the whole process overall and, you know, give the front pagers a bit more, a, best, a bit less favoritism, which I think a lot of, you know, everyone, even myself included, and I'm on the front page a lot, would kind of like to, you know, spread things out. But um yeah, front page is front page is huge. It's absolutely huge for streamers. It yep. can it can make a bad day a good day in two hours. You know, if you just had a six hour bad cast. So it's you know it's a very big deal. It's a very big deal. It was really cool um, when I because I actually sent a, an email to um, uh, one of the the admins and I was like, hey, can I get on the front page? I know you know I was name dropping all over the place. I was like I know this guy and this guy and this guy and blah blah blah. You know I have a global emo. You know I was trying to just sell myself as much. But I was like I just want a little time on the front page. I'm like sure. And I I'm not like I was never like featured. You know I was one of the rotation things at the bottom. Like every once in a while it would pop up. Someone would pop in and say hey front page type and stuff like that. Um, but 
I would I am with you on that. Like I would gladly like I, I would I would even consider paying them. Be like, hey, <laughs> can I get on the front page? You know, be nice. I have asked that before. Yeah. 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 And I've I, asked if I can buy front page time for special events. I Absolutely. don't think they'll send me straight up. That's a, that's an interesting thing because um, companies will probably do that, and Twitch will probably allow the companies to buy that. I don't know if it actually happens. I would assume it does because that's a great way to make money for Twitch. Uh, but I don't know if I don't know if a streamer. Sh I guess they should be able to buy a front page slot. But then what happens when you have like? A hundred viewership channel buying a front page slot because they just in generally have a lot of money. Like that's a little bit weird. And that I did that. I, I, I and that's why I'm glad they like that. That's not that's not an option. Like to pay for you know to be well. Actually, is it an option? Do we know that? Well, I um, no no. I've asked. I've asked, and they said no. I straight care. up asked to buy. And but this is that, this is back in. How to like sponsor streams? Oh, sponsor streams! Absolutely, sponsor streams buy front page. Absolutely. I mean, oh. think, think about it. they. Yeah, they they want. I mean, they. Well, I I know you know whenever I let me just put it this way. Whenever I've done sponsor streams in many times in the past, a you know part of that is front page. So it's like obviously that's either a part of the deal between Twitch and the company. Oh yeah. Or well, it's, it. it's probably Regardless, an X amount of viewership is what it is. Yeah, and that's what yeah. I was asking. Like but, a single person like me couldn't say like, hey. Can I buy the front page? Just pretend I'm blank company. Just say like uh, Z Corp wants to buy the front page uh, for a sponsored stream. They, but in those they're... cases, like once you start talking about advertising, I'm sorry about this. Once you start talking about advertising money, at that point you're starting starting to talk about probably a lot more money than would be lucrative for you to pay. Like that that is you know corporation stuff. Yes, that is like corp stuff. That's what that is like it's corporation like a, like a, stuff. Like a, stuff. A, ton of money. That's what I'm saying. If I was an individual with a ton of money who didn't really have a corporation, say my grandma left me $300 million. But, well, here, here's one thing that's, that's I mean, when, Z, when JP was saying this earlier, I was shaking my head because I have to say, even though I was one of the ones that asked, because at the time I didn't really think about this, the idea that you could buy front, anyone that wanted to could buy front yeah, page, that's not good. you would essentially be buying success on Twitch because it's, it's, the, it's, 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 it's now, now I, I, I was about to say it's almost akin to view botting, but actually that's that's not true at all. But it, it's it's an artificial injection of viewers that normal streamers who have to work extremely hard for success in many cases would it would just completely bypass all of that hardship. I mean, you do you do three sponsored streams, right? That's you know anywhere between three and four thousand. You'd probably get at least a thousand follows. It takes some people eight hours a day for a year to get half that if yeah. they're lucky stream every day in position and you're talking about paying what maybe twenty thousand of course i don't know numbers you pay a huge amount of money and six hours you know two hour blocks three two hour blocks and you would basically have just bypassed the hard it's pay to win yeah. that would be pay to win that'd be I, like pay I, to win twitch exactly and i can even speak to that like as someone that is on the front page a lot just because twitch uh is very kind to me with the role play shows and even this show gets on the front page uh whenever we go live i believe uh like the amount of growth that is obtained from that uh, is is kind of fucking crazy. Like it's an additional at least two k viewers at the very lowest on a terrible on the worst fucking day possible. On the best day, like uh, two when was that Monday? I think we hit like eleven thousand viewers on an episode of Roleplay or something like that. Uh, and generally, we're around depending on the show, we're around anywhere from five to like eight k at the best. Um, so it definitely helps. Uh, and and it's also a weird thing because then at the same time, like who gets fe featured on the front page becomes a really interesting thing because it is such a huge boon to have on your side as a streamer. Um, and I think that, I don't know if that's another topic for another day, but it is definitely an, a longer conversation to be had there. Uh, well, that's, yeah, that's absolutely something that I'd be, me personally would be interested to hear um, what, Besides, besides popularity, because popularity obviously is the most important thing. Um, what would uh, um, grease the wheels, so to speak, to get to the front page? Sure, but that's a, maybe a topic for another time. But that's definitely something I would love love to talk about. Yep, yep. Um, let's do one or two more questions here, because I do actually, I actually have to do stuff for packs, and I have. At another show tonight to do. <laughs> I, yeah, I haven't packed or I haven't done anything. I haven't done laundry. I haven't packed. I gotta go. 
uh, fucking get a hair or not a haircut, but a beard trim because you got to make sure the beard looks nice for packs. I got to do a bunch of shit. I'm sorry. What is what is a beard trim? I go to a barber uh, that uh, you know I get I pay uh, a nominal fee and I get a beard massage with uh, or it's a beard conditioning is what they call it there, uh, and then they they quote unquote sculpt my beard. Uh, and it looks good for about three days until I leave, and then it grows back again. So I pay a nominal fee to look good for three days. <laughs> so there you go. There you go. You guys should definitely try it, though. Straight edge shaving is the fucking best thing in the world. If you've ever had, like, a straight edge razor to shave that, it's the fucking the best. I had a, uh, I had a barber do it once, and I, I wasn't a big fan. Maybe really? I should... Maybe I went to the Was wrong. it because you felt like you were going to die at any moment that he could just slit your throat because you've seen Sweeney Todd? Because I had that fear, too, uh, when I first went. Not really, because this guy was, like, 90 years old. I don't think he could even he could barely break the skin. He could barely, like, shave it. He was, like, really grunting to get through my, my whiskers. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, let me pull some questions here. Uh, a lot of questions. Uh... When, uh, this is more specific to, I think, Co. Uh, Luxury Blade says, when did you get partnered with iBuy Power PC and how did that occur? Uh, so, like, what was the process? If you're comfortable talking about that. No, sure. That was that was one of the, um, that was actually exactly one of the times that I was talking about writing a thorough formal letter explaining to them why it would be beneficial for both of you to work together um, is something that really works. And, in fact, their initial offer was far below what I was hoping. Um, and I had we had a, about a month back and forth until we got to a point where where I felt it was uh, something that I wanted to do. And, you know, it, it took uh, an initial email and some additional pressure to get responses initially. And um, that's just one of those things you got to sometimes you got to work for that kind of stuff. Uh, how do you say his name? Flippo Maniacs is saying, question mainly for JP. Since you're in a unique situation where the main content or shows that you produce, do you think it would be viable to get single shows sponsored? If so, what brands would you be interested in, in representing? Uh, I think it's totally an option. Uh, it's something that I've been looking at heavily in the past couple six months. I have, I'm making sure it fits the show. I don't want like role play to be sponsored by uh, Bic Razors. Like what... I mean, I guess it makes sense because I have like a lot of people have beards, but then it wouldn't make sense because no one shaves. Like it has to fit the show is, is, is kind of what I'm getting at. Um, I don't think, uh, and we haven't talked about this, but I guess we'll just talk about it openly. I don't think dropped frames will ever be sponsored only because I don't think, I think that kind of goes, I want to be able to say whatever the fuck we want on the show. And if that's about a product or about another thing, I don't want to be limited because someone can't talk about it because of X reason in a contract, right? Absolutely. And I don't want the fear of viewership looking at that and saying, hey, they're not talking about this because of something else. Uh, Absolutely agree. And I, I openly said that because I think you guys would agree with that. Um, but yeah, Completely. It's, I, I think that, yes, uh, role play. And we've done sponsorship. We did a Roll20 sponsorship for like a show a while back. And it was simply showing a card that said, hey, go check out Roll20. It's great. We use it. Go check it out. Roll20.com. That was all it was. Um, and it wasn't even like there, there was not even a contract signed for that. It was basically a, a very small time deal. Um, I actually like this question. Go ahead. It's uh, from Schmidt Dog. He says, do you think streamers may subconsciously give games more the benefit of the doubt when a company has invited them out and given them swag and stuff so they keep the door open so that sure. they can get involved in more things? Uh, like, yes. Are you akin to be nicer to a game to keep those those connection or the networking doors open? Definitely. I, I think that, and, and even in the question, you, uh, I think you left it out for me and Co's sake, but I, I say bring okay. it back in. With sure. SOE, uh, we were both flown out there. I think that it is up to us, uh, me and Co, on a personal level, uh, how we react to that uh, on stream. I think it's up to us as well to tell our viewers that that has occurred so that they are aware that we went out there and that we were um, flown out there, that no money was exchanged between the two parties, uh, but that there was whatever went on at the event. And I think that's partially, I, me and Co both did that in probably great detail on our own streams. We talked about what happened when we went out there uh, and kind of the whole process. Um, Co, go ahead and, and give your thoughts on it, and then I'll check out the, the rest of the question. 
Um, the the big thing I I would ag- I would agree um, that you know if if a company is going to go out of their way to show that they want to work with Twitch, work with streamers, I will open the door to taking a more thorough look and. Re- really doing my best to understand where they're coming from, their perspective, and things of that nature. Will it affect my opinion? Uh, No. In fact, um, a little known fact not a lot of people know, on the first night H1Z1 was released, um, it got to a point where, uh, you know, everyone was trying to log in. I couldn't log in. I started uh, taking a shot of beer every time I couldn't log in. And it got to a point where I was getting pretty frustrated with the whole situation, what was going on. And I had a string of about 30 minutes where I was being very verbal about how I felt the release was going. Um, I actually spoke to the point where I received a block of text directly from a high-ranking official at Sony defending them, basically saying what I had said on air was unfair. And it it goes to, you know, like, hey, that's not the case. You know, you you were, were working hard here, you know. And, you know, it was it was... Um, It was really interesting because, you know, to receive that kind of email and still have people being like, oh, you're a Sony sponsored stream. You're such a shill. You're such a sellout. And I'm sitting here like, great. I'm not making (laughs) anyone happy. They're (laughs) pissed off at me. They think I'm selling out, you know, and it got to the point where it's like, you know, it's no, no question. I will. um, I will definitely talk favorably if a company like Sony flies me out. I, I will talk favorably about what was favorable. You know, yeah, if yeah. they're going to fly me out and have this really well organized event, and I mean, I, I you know, let's, everything's go, let's be, be real, great, Let, you know, and they gave us beer. Awesome. Yeah, but hold but on, I'm, hold on. That doesn't mean I'm going to say their games. Let's go be ahead. real, Co. That beer could have been a little colder. <laughs> you know, I didn't want to talk about this. I know. And you actually <laughs> want to bring this up. <laughs> you yeah. actually bring up a good point um, as far as that goes. Uh, if a company now, now, you're talking about uh, not voicing an, uh, an opinion that you don't believe in. Will you omit things that are bad? Will I omit? If, no, not at all. So what I'm saying is like hell no. Like no, I'm saying um, it's like it, company treats you nice, but I mean like that was a little thing. Like the beer wasn't it wasn't cold enough. Like would you leave that out because everything else was great? Like, no, I think if, and and I think that's only because uh, the the Twitch viewers are not dumb. Like they will pick up on shit like that immediately, and because of that, even if we want to leave that stuff out, which I don't think me and Co do, the mm. community is gonna know right away that that's we're fucking like bullshitting. That like no, no, bullshitting, leaving leaving it omit- out, like omitting. It's not um, you're not telling lies. You're not like sugarcoating. I'm saying like. There, there are things like that you would that you would omit from the conversation because they're negative, because you want everybody to th- like to uh, uh, have a good or have a, a not a good image, but you know what I'm saying, like like a overall view of the situation to be tilted to more towards the good. I, I think that me and I, I'm trying to think back on the Sony event and think if there is was anything negative. Um, and not really like we covered it in last week's show. They, for the events that I've been flown out to, which is many different game companies and many different, uh, press events, like they did the best. They did everything right. (laughs) They had computers that had sub alert installed on it. Most fucking companies don't even know that we have notifiers Uh, uh. on our stream and they had the fucking program installed on the computer for us to use. So, um, I think, like for all intents and purposes, they did that event right uh, by the streamers there. Um, it, it, we, we were there was Razer mice there, so even if we didn't even have our own mice, which I didn't, I still use their products, and it was fine. Uh, like I, I'm, Co, for you, was there any negative aspects to that? I don't. Dude, every expectation I had was surpassed, and 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 here's the thing. Here's the thing. If they weren't. I'd be vocal about it as I have in the past when yeah, I've gone exactly. on other events exactly. like this. It's like, but yeah. it's, that's, that's one of the reasons, again, people, when, when people call you, you know, Hey, you're, you're a sponsor streamer by Sony. Cause you're saying all this positive stuff, guys, all the positive stuff really happened. I'm relaying <laughs> yeah. what happened. I'm not selling it. 
They actually flew us all out. They got us our taxis. All our hotels were great. They were totally taken care of. They told us exactly where to be. They gave us extra studios. They had 12 computers. We could sit down and play Twinsy One at any point. They had designers yeah. walking around and talking to us. A huge huge meet and greet with the whole crew everyone individually you know like like the list just goes on and on and on about how they really went out of their way to make sure that things were good for us yep so it's it's that's what we're going to talk about and, and that's the to, kind of right. stuff to and speak, other hold, companies that we talk about them if something sucked we talk about that exactly if to the speak computers to the part didn't of work sucking and our stream messed up and everything got screwed and and some guy was rude to us and one guy was walking around cussing at us randomly and and the beer was warm you know like if this stuff happened that's what you'd hear about yep that's the stuff you would have heard from us and that's what i'm saying like like um someone someone actually z i guess put it in the chat and he said it better than i could uh um I think Ezekiel's trying to say that if your overall impression is positive, will you admit the little negatives so your community will understand that it was a positive experience? It's like having a, having a fucking awesome waitress, but the steak was overdone, you know? Sure. It's like you don't want to tell people not to go there because, you know, that, that waitress is great. She served us all night. And she was perfect. I mean, the steak was a little overdone. I mean, like, you want, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, do you want to, like, gloss over some of, gloss over some of the bad so that the positive is more accentuated? That you know I can what I'm gonna. It. That's a re really good analogy, Zeke. But I I have something to say there. For okay. us, it would almost be more beneficial at times when that steak is, is underdone to exemplify that for balance. So it's like if if you can if you can show your audience, I am gonna talk about all the negatives as much as the positives like it's almost good sometimes that there's some things there you like i almost wish more had gone wrong in sony because i wouldn't have gotten half the bs that i would have over the last couple weeks you know, yeah. you know what i mean yeah. it's, it's kind of like it, in good. those situations you know you can you can use that to kind of further just show them that you're serious about this stuff yep that and, makes sense and to speak to that uh there was an assassin's creed event that happened the friday of blizzcon i don't remember what day that was uh but at that event, we were streaming from Xbox Ones with the Kinect as the mic and camera in a room with 12 other people while a live production was going on five <laughs> feet from us with three sets in there and over probably 50 people in the building walking in and out of the camera shots. Like, if you go watch the fucking footage, it is the and, – and the shitty part is that part of the contract was to put it up on my uh, channel for – that was like part of what it was. Uh, and the footage is god fucking like it says 720p, it doesn't pass for fucking 240p. Like it looks really bad. Uh, and that was I was very vocal about that after the fact. Um, but I'm not gonna go to an event and be a piece of shit and just be like, God, this is fucking horseshit. What are you fucking idiots doing? Like, what I did was I got home, I sent them an email and said like, Hey, that was really uh, poor support that you guys gave us if you want help with that let me know uh, otherwise you're going to have a lot of angry people at you because of how poor that looked um from a viewership perspective um and that's just how i handle it but i think we're, we're maybe getting a little bit further from the question that you were asking yeah. Zeke, so uh but yeah i think that's gonna do it for the show a uh, little bit of a short show i think uh, it was about two hours and 30 minutes or so uh, yeah. we typically go around three hours here uh, but I'm okay with doing a short show because PAX is tomorrow. Yeah, I need to pull my head out of my ass and get going. I want to go shoot zombies. That's true. Fuck, I do too. I have to fucking go role play tonight. God damn it, guys. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Zeke. Zeke, you're looking. You're or, or not Zeke. Uh, JP, you're looking pretty sick, man. You may need to. You may need to cancel. I know. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking rather peckish, sir. <laughs> I got a stream with the webcam off. The lights hurt my eyes, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's do some shout outs and we'll close out the show. Co, why don't you start off? Sure. Uh, first of all, thank you guys for watching. As always, thanks to my amazing uh, co host JP and Zeke. I'm Co Carnage. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Co Carnage, twitter.com slash Co Carnage, youtube.com slash Co Carnage, which I, thanks to my uh, uh, the amazing uh, help that I've been getting from, from my mods recently, my YouTube is actually starting to, uh, starting to pick up. So you can find me streaming H1Z1 or whatever JP wants me to do that week. Uh, and yeah, I'll be at PAX. And um, well, I mean, role play. I, I know. It's, Come on. Or, what, or whatever JP wants me to stream I, that's, that week. That's um, what I was thinking. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll be, at, I'll be at PAX for four days. It's going to be streaming every day from PAX. Even if it's from a hotel room or a Starbucks, I'll figure it out. We'll keep the 460 plus day train rolling. And 
Hope to see the channel. Stop on by. Awesome stuff. Uh, Zeke, do some shout outs and let's hope the overlay loads. God damn it. Go ahead Man. and talk. <laughs> no? Okay. Uh, uh, my name is Ezekiel III, uh, E-Z-E-K-I-E-L underscore I-I-I. It is the same on Twitter as well. Um, I do, uh, I'm a variety streamer, do lots of, lots of different games, uh, mostly um, frustrating, ragey uh, broadcasts of loud music and fire and opinions and, and vulgarity. Uh, I stream most every day. I take uh, Thursdays and Fridays off um, because I, I want a weekend and I also do uh, improvisational comedy uh, here in town. But yeah, uh, my schedule is right down below. Actually, we're on my channel. So my schedule is uh, right down below, and uh, I've got links, all that kind of stuff, right underneath this picture box that you're looking at. So if you want to check me out, they're right there. There you go. Oh, and thank you, Co Carnage, and thank you, J.P. McDaniel, for um, uh, having me on. There you go. So. Thanks, for, thanks for coming on yourself. Uh, thanks also to the uh, the Brazikers for letting us be on your channel. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you got some follows out of this. If you're not following Zeke, make sure you do. Uh, I know you got the subs out of it because for whatever reason my sub notifier <laughs> was linked to your channel. <laughs> <laughs> so congrats on all that. Uh, we'll be back next Wednesday as we always are at three o'clock Eastern. Um, I think next week the the guest, well not confirmed just yet, uh, is going to try to be Eloheim. Um, if he's still fucking sick by next week, then uh, we'll just first off we're gonna call the doc. We'll call nine one one for him because that's not good that he's had a hundred plus fever for that long. Uh, and secondly, we'll get a new guest. So. Have a great week, everyone. Uh, if you're going to be at PAX South, make sure to stop by the Twitch booth. Make sure to also watch twitch.tv slash twitch for all of us and support us in the PJ Sultan competition. Zeke? Yes, uh, um, I will be at, with Co Carnage at his meetup thing whenever that happens. Just so you know, that's where my Berserkers, I'm going to meet you guys. It's going to be Saturday sometime. We'll tweet it. We'll show, tell you everything. There but you that's go. where my meetup personally is going to be. We're just going to conglomerate with the, the coalition, the Berserkers. So there, there you have that. There you go. There you go. All right, Perfect. guys. See you guys at PAX South. If not, we'll see you on our channels. Have a great week. We're out. Bye-bye.